root of all evil is the idea that some lives matter more than others. It's 2019, and I've been a vegan now for just over two years. My biggest regret, though, is that I didn't ditch meat and dairy sooner. I was sold a lie, fabricated by industries that see animals as commodities on a product line. Companies who do not care about the pain and suffering of our fellow earthlings, but who are only motivated by profit margins and greed. I watched a documentary called Earthlings, which allowed me to take a look into a world of misery caused by the money each and every one of us give to these disgusting industries. They take that money and they create manipulating advertising campaigns to try and ease your conscience. It's funny though, how they never show the slaughter part of the production. A happy meal, the laughing cow, the happy egg, when in reality the life of these animals is pure agony and torture from the moment they open their eyes. Joaquin Phoenix said, and I quote, it takes nothing away from a human being to be kind to an animal. Some uneducated persons pretend to know that less intelligent animals don't feel pain the same way we do. In truth, we know very little about how specific animals may feel, except that they must also submit to the universal law that causes every organism dying by unnatural means to suffer greatly before that final release. But it's nonsense to say that animals do not suffer because they have a lower order of intelligence. Pain is pain, conveyed by nerves to the brain, and there are other nerves than those of intelligence. Nerves such as sight, smell, touch, and hearing. And in some animals, these nerves are much more highly developed than in man. We know that there has never been an epoch in which we could learn something about the physiology of man by torturing animals. We only learn something about animals. And if there is something we can learn from them on the psychological level, it is not by means of steel or electricity, much less so through psychic violences. The systematic torture of sentient beings, whatever the pretext and in whatever form, cannot achieve anything more than it already has. Ignorance is the species' first line of defense. Yet, it is easily breached by anyone with the time and determination to find out the truth. Ignorance has prevailed so long only because people do not want to find out the truth. Don't tell me you'll spoil my dinner is the usual reply to any attempt to tell someone just how that dinner was produced. Even people who are aware that the traditional family farm has been taken over by big business interests, that the clothes come from slaughtered cows, that the entertainment means the suffering and death of millions of animals, and that some questionable experiments go on in laboratories, still cling to a vague belief that conditions cannot be too bad, or else the government or the animal welfare societies would have done something about it. But it is not the inability to find out what is going on as much as a desire not to know about facts that may lie heavy on one's conscience that is responsible for this lack of awareness. After all, the victims of whatever it is that goes on in all these awful places are not members of one's own group. It all comes down to pain and suffering. Not intelligence, not strength, not social class or civil right. Pain and suffering are in themselves bad and should be prevented or minimized, irrespective of the race, sex, or species of the being that suffers. We are all animals of this planet. We are all creatures. And non-human animals experience sensations just like we do. They too are strong, intelligent, industrious, mobile, and evolutional. They too are capable of growth and adaptation. Like us, first and foremost, they are earthlings. And like us, they are surviving. Like us, 
they also seek their own comfort rather than discomfort. And like us, they express degrees of emotion. In short, like us, they are alive. Most of them being, in fact, vertebrae, just like us. We don't need this. It's destroying our environment, depleting our oceans, clearing our rainforests, claiming the lives of millions of people across the world with health implications, and killing over 56 billion land animals and 2.7 trillion marine animals each year. We cannot morally justify this if we do not need animal products to survive. It's time to make a change. Come wow.